Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with Jay Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, let's look at the manufacturing account. And we're talking about the accounts for those businesses that are engaged in the transformation of goods, materials, or substances into new products. So we're talking about businesses that are part of the manufacturing industry. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the key terms used in preparing manufacturing accounts, as well as to distinguish between and give examples of direct and indirect costs. Before we go any further, let us look at some key players in the manufacturing industry that can be found in the region. And we're talking about National, Boss Furniture, Grace Kennedy, Seprod, Lascos, Carb Cement, Caribbean Choice, among others. What is a manufacturing account? What is a manufacturing account? This is an account that is prepared at the end of an accounting period in order to calculate the production cost of goods manufactured. Now, let us look at some terms that are associated with the manufacturing industries. And the first one is cost of production. This is the total of all costs of manufacturing goods. The cost associated, the total cost associated with getting that product ready for sale. Now, cost of production has three costs that are attributed to it, three broad costs. And the first one is materials. And we're talking about the raw materials. And these are the input goods or inventory that a company needs to manufacture its products. So basically, these are resources which are used in the manufacture of any product. Another term or cost that is linked to cost of production is labor. In producing goods, the human capital is very important. So labor is the human resource which uses the materials and equipment and is paid wages or salary. The next cost associated with cost of production is overheads. And overheads speak to other expenses incurred, for example, the lighting, the eating, rates, cleaning, rent, depreciation, insurance, janitorial wages, security costs, etc. There are others. Okay? Now let's continue to explore the terms associated with the manufacturing industry. And we are now at direct costs. These costs are the ones that are linked to the item being produced. So they are traceable to the item that you are producing or, or that have been pr produced. Direct costs are, for example, direct materials. We're talking about the raw materials that are used in producing the, the goods. So for example, you're making a chair. The wood that is used to make that chair would be a direct material, also called raw material. Say you're baking a cake. The flour, the sugar, the egg, the baking powder, the other spices that are used to bake that cake are classified as raw material. These are direct material. And these are traceable to the cake that you are baking, so therefore it is direct cost. Another category of direct cost is direct labor or wages. So the person that baked that cake, the baker, the pay that you give this individual is referred to as direct labor or wages. Now, if you're working a manufacturing account question, and you see factory wages, it means that this is the pay that you give to the person that directly produce the item, that work on producing the item. Hands on, getting that product ready, touching the product, getting the product prepared from start to finish. These people pay is referred to as direct wages. So therefore factory wages is a direct cost. 
another category of direct costs would be other direct expenses. And we're talking about expenses such as the cost of packaging, royalties, and royalties are payment to an owner to use their asset. Special templates or design, these are also direct costs. So those are some examples of direct costs. But tell you what, people, when you add up all your direct costs, the raw material costs, the direct wages costs, the other direct expenses, you get what is called prime cost. So total direct cost is equal to prime cost. Now, let's look at indirect costs. Indirect costs is also referred to as factory overheads. And these are the other costs that the business incurred in the manufacturing process, but they are not traceable to the item being produced. So, these are other expenses not traceable to the item being produced. They are not directly linked to the items being produced. Examples of these are factory supervisor's salary. We have a supervisor, the supervisor did not produce the item, so we cannot classify it as direct cost. It is an indirect cost. We have factory rent. That is an indirect cost. So, so if you're working a question and you see once the item is labeled factory rent, factory lighting, factory eating, factory supervisor salary, those are indirect costs. Indirect material, factory overheads. But if you see factory wages, don't forget that that is the labor that you pay, the wage that you pay to the persons that make the products. So therefore that is a direct cost. That's your direct labor. But if you see indirect salaries or factory salaries, that is uh, an overhead. But if it is wages, then that is a direct cost. Other example of indirect costs, indirect labor, factory machinery depreciation or factory plant depreciation, factory machinery repairs and maintenance, among others, those are indirect costs. Now, when you add your indirect costs to your prime cost, you get what is called cost of production. So prime cost plus indirect cost, which are your overheads, is equal to cost of production. Now, let's continue looking at some more terms. We have what we call work in process, otherwise called work in progress. These are partly completed goods. They were started, but they are not completed, okay? Our next term is finished goods. These goods have been produced and are awaiting sale to customers as of the end of the accounting period. So the goods that are finished, completed, those are classified as finished goods. Our next term is administration expenses. And these speak to the expenses relating to the general administration of the manufacturing business. Example, office rent. Anything that you see with office, those are administration expenses. Office rent, accountancy salary, office cleaning. Yes, that is administration expense. Office manager salary, that is an admin expense. Another category of expense that is associated with the manufacturing industry is selling and distribution expenses. And tell you what, any cost that is attributed to getting the product out to the customers, those are selling and distribution expenses. So these are expenses incurred in the selling and distribution of the goods manufactured. For example, delivery van depreciation, carriage outwards, advertising, salesman salary, sales commission. Those are selling and distribution expenses. And of course, there are others. 
And the final category of expense there is financial charges. And these speak to expenses such as bank charges and discounts allowed. So basically people, when you're preparing the income statement for a manufacturing industry, when you get to the expenses section, after you have generated your gross profits, your expenses will be divided into three categories. So you're going to categorize those expenses. You'll have your admin expense, your selling and distribution expense, and your financial charges. Let's apply the concept that you have learned in this lesson in a question. And this question is taken from January 2014, number 5A. And it reads, five jam producers set out a list of costs shown on the insert provided. You'll see the insert soon. Classify each cost item as either manufacturing account or income statement. For each item classified as manufacturing account, indicate whether it is a direct or indirect cost. And the first one was done for you as an example. So here we have the insert that was provided and uh, the columns are number to indicate the item. We have the cost item, and then you are to classify them into manufacturing account and income statement. But for the manufacturing account, if it is a manufacturing account item, you're going to indicate whether it is a direct cost or it is indirect cost. No people, remember, the income statement items are basically your admin, your selling and distribution, and your financial charges. While your manufacturing item are your direct costs or your factory overheads. Okay, so let us begin. So the first one was done, which is number zero, factory office expense. That is an indirect cost. That is that factory overhead. Remember your indirect costs are your factory overheads. Number one, factory overheads. And this one definitely is indirect costs. Our next item is wages and salaries of sales assistant. What type of expense is this? The sales assistant salary would be categorized under selling and distribution and that is found in your income statement. So therefore that is an income statement item. Selling and distribution expense, income statement. Wages of production worker. This is wages paid out to the persons that produce the item. This is directly linked to the item being produced. That is a manufacturing account item but specifically a direct cost. Depreciation of factory equipment. Yes, it's a part of the manufacturing account. It is not a direct cost, but an indirect cost as a factory overhead item. Purchase of raw materials. It's basically saying purchase of direct cost. We need a raw material to produce the item. So those are linked to the item being produced. So this is a direct cost. Design cost per bottle is traceable to the item being produced. So therefore, this is a direct cost. Mortgage interest, this is used in the income statement and this is an admin expense. So therefore it is income statement. Administration cost, definitely income statement. And cost of bottles purchased that is a direct cost because guess what? We need the package. We, we have to package the item to get it out to the customers. That is a direct cost. It is linked to the item being produced. Now that you have been introduced to the manufacturing accounts, what it is, some key players that are found in the manufacturing industries from the region, the terms associated with manufacturing industries, and you have looked at responding to January 2014, number 5a you are definitely ready for the next lesson in our next lesson guys we're going to look at preparing a manufacturing account like share and don't forget to subscribe